Hello everybody, I'm Dylan and today we're going to talk about Prayers for Bobby, a televised docudrama that premiered on the Lifetime channel in 2009. It is based on the book of the same name, the book was written by Leroy Adams and is based on the real life story of Mary Griffith, a formerly homophobic Christian mother turned LGBT activist following the tragic suicide of her gay son. The teleplay of the film was written by Katie Ford and production by Damien Genkzewski. So, this film stars Miss Sigourney Weaver as the titular Mary Griffith. What? Doesn't ring a bell? She was Ripley in the Aliens franchise. Yeah, that kick-ass lady. She also played Dana in the 1984 Ghostbusters. But she's not fighting deadly aliens or being ab abducted by supernatural dogs here, but rather is a regular suburban housewife raising four kids. This story starts in 1979, in the pre-AIDS crisis, but is still a fairly gay and tolerant environment. Mary is of Christian faith and is very stern in her beliefs. When her son Bobby, played by Ryan Kelly, is revealed to be gay, it threatens the happy balance of the family. They send him to therapy and attempt in various ways to cure him of his homosexuality. Mary even goes as far as posting notes with Bible verses everywhere in his room. Bobby eventually leaves the Griffith household to live in the big city with his best friend and cousin, Jeanette, where he can freely live his life. Over time, Bobby's father and siblings come to term with his sexual orientation, but Mary remains intolerant and believes that God could cure him if he wanted. So the family dynamic remains awkward. Eventually, Bobby gets more depressed and takes his own life one night, and the Griffith family is forever changed. Mary remains stoic through the funeral but is eventually left in confusion and she begins to question her faith. Grieving and looking for answers, she eventually finds support in a progressive reverend who supports the gay community. Mary questions him over many passages of the Bible, especially those concerning homosexuality, and the reverend is able to debunk or put a different perspective on each of these. The reverend in this film is great. He's able to convince Mary to slowly involve herself with the group P-Flag, parents, family, and friends of lesbians and gays. The film is largely about the transformation of Mary Griffith, who went from an uptight, narrow-minded Christian to a progressive one with a more open mind and helping gay youths in the years following. So, Prayers for Bobby is definitely an important film. Normally, when you pit religion against homosexuality, it can turn into a mess. Mary had to learn an important lesson in a very extreme way. It took the suicide of her son for her to even start questioning her beliefs. Bobby was kind and good-hearted, so that should have been enough to be proud of. I like that this movie challenges religion and passages in the Bible without necessarily vilifying it or discrediting it. We kind of reach a happy middle between religious belief and homosexuality here. The sad truth is, if you read the Bible word per word, you'll realize it doesn't make too much sense. Why is it a sin to eat shellfish but not other types of fish? Why is wearing different fabrics considered sinful? And why is homosexuality so sinful? I do think a level of common sense must be exercised, which is what Mary learns in her journey. Sigourney Weaver is great in her role. You go from hating her in the beginning to rooting for her by the end. Ryan Kelly does a great job as a sympathetic Bobby as well. So I think the themes have been pretty obvious in this review. Uh, the first theme is religious intolerance. We see what could have been a family's common reaction in the late 70s and early 80s to a gay child. Maybe not always as extreme as what we see here, but people were more ignorant towards gays then, and it was considered taboo. Homophobia is definitely another theme. Mary's homophobia came mostly directly from her lecture from the Bible, but the church where her family initially went to shared this feeling as well. So Mary never bothered to see the other side of the coin until it was too late. She always felt safe with her Bible and blindly following the beliefs that were pumped into her head, but when tragedy struck she realized her own congregation didn't have any answers for her, so she found help and support elsewhere. Finally, we have the theme of suicide and aftermath. Suicides are always difficult, and we see the toll it takes on the family. Each family member grieves in their own way. So, a very effective film that will make you cry at the very least once. As for ratings, IMDb has rated this film an 8.1 out of 10, and the film currently holds a 73% on Rotten Tomatoes. I give this film a 9.8 out of 10, definitely worth checking out. Now, you might be wondering why I'm docking it two little points. The main reason is when you read the book, you realize how much was left out of the movie. Which is often the case, movies usually have a time constraints. 
They usually have a runtime of an hour and a half or whatever, so details are often left out. In the book, we see many more interactions between Bobby and his siblings, certain particular events that happen at the school or at home, and even some life choices that Bobby had to make when he left the household. If you watch the film and like it, I definitely recommend getting the much more detailed book. So have you seen Prayers for Bobby or read the book? What did you think of it? Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll hopefully see you for the next review.